Terry Foy and Tyler Cross here with Denver head coach Bill Tierney after the Pioneers 15 to 11 defeat Duke in the NCAA semifinals and coach Tierney it was a game that never seemed out of hand I uh, always felt like uh, you guys were within striking distance and uh, kind of Duke had the opportunity late to make a little bit of separation what did it kind of feel like unfolding on your side uh, on your sideline as it relates to kind of always remaining within striking distance well you know it was just so positive because we knew if we had the ball we were going to score <laughs> you know it was just it was that, that was the way it was going to be unfortunately when they had the ball they scored a lot too so uh you know it was it was a battle of wills and and uh, getting down i thought late in that second quarter really killed us you know and uh to go down with four goals if we'd have down one or two at half you know and uh, we'd have been okay but it's hard coming back from that distance and then keeping it going. But uh, credit to Duke, you know, they, they did a great job. We make that run to make it 12-11 and they get, they get three, three in a minute and a half to, uh, to kind of put it away. Our guys kept fighting until 7.5 seconds left and I'm so proud of them. And, uh, you know, we got one after to make it 15-12 and then, and then we had the ball again. You know, it was just early in the game, it was a matter of not having the ball a lot. Uh, and. Uh, and not seizing our opportunities when we did. But I thought in the second half, we, we knew what we were doing. Matt Brown did a great job having the guys ready. They played hard. They took away some things, but other guys stepped up. And, uh, and Berge uh, did a great job today with a bad thumb. And uh, you know we're, uh, we're, we're proud of him. We're proud of all of the guys. Uh, finished 16 and three inaugural uh, Big East champs in your first season in the league. Uh, uh, third final four trip in four seasons. What's the legacy of this team? Well, you know, what you, what you hope is that they're proud of those things that you just mentioned. You know, you, if, if, if your legacy is considered negative because you don't win a national championship, then it's going to be hard to win one, you know. But if you've got the opportunity to keep on playing, as I said to the other folks, you know, uh, I'm never going to get tired of making this speech because one of these days we're going to get over having to make it, you know, after the semifinal game. I don't want our guys to think of that as being, you know, the wall they can't climb. There were three different games and three same outcomes, but against three great teams. And uh, we're proud to uh, we're proud to be out here. We're proud that, uh, you know, we did well in the tournament. And one of these days we'll get one. And this was a very young team. What's the future of this program look like for, from your perspective? Well, we think it's a great one. You know, we've got our best uh, recruiting class ever coming in next year. We've got a bunch of monster midfielders and a couple of great defensemen and a couple of great attackmen. And uh, so we're, we feel really good about it and an outstanding uh, face-off guy. So uh, it's, uh, the, the future is very bright now that you take a step back and say, uh, but what about Jeremy Noble and Jamie Faust, you know, and, uh, and certainly Terry Ellis and Harrison Archer and those, those seniors that have just done an amazing job for us. But uh, we're going to miss the tenacity of Terry Ellis. We're going to miss the, you know, Jeremy's the glue guy. He, he's, he did everything for us. And, uh, and so um, we're going to miss that. So it, the, the question is, you can have more talent, but can you have better chemistry? And, and that's going to be that's going to be our big chore. So the next group that comes in has got a lot to live up to, and uh, we're going we're gonna to start all over again and try to be back again next year. Thanks for your time. Congratulations on a fine season. Thanks, buddy.